Okay, so to start, let's learn a little bit about how Scratch works in case you're new. Over here where you see Isabel, that's called the stage. And it's where we'll see the results of whatever code we end up writing. Down below that, you see all these different items. These are called our sprites. If I want to write code for one of my sprites, I'll make sure I have it selected. And then I will use these blocks over here on the right, put them together in order to make some code for that sprite. When I want to put some blocks together, I'll drag them over into this big space over here, and that's where I can create my code. Um, the last thing I want to show you is you'll notice that I have, you know, an Animal Crossing background and Isabelle as a, as a sprite. So the way that I can get whatever pictures or backgrounds I want into my Scratch game is if I come down here for, um, to create a new backdrop, I can select this Upload Backdrop button. And that will let me choose some file from my computer that I can upload into Scratch and incorporate as a backdrop for my game. If I want to do the same thing for a sprite, I can just use this button next to it. And again, I'll click Upload Sprite, and that's how I got Isabel in my game. Okay, now that we have a general idea of how Scratch works, let's see if we can start learning how to make the code for this game.